Hello my friends, this is Jeannie. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm going to share with you two simple ways that I use wax seals to embellish my projects. The first one is going to be in packaging that I use for my ATCs. And the second will be um, as an embellishment or as an element in one of my journals that I recently made. I am going to be using this beautiful wax stamp set that was sent to me by Craftspire. I did a detailed unboxing of this particular item. If you have not seen that unboxing, be sure to check it out. I will link it in this area here. It is a six piece set. You get six uh, heads with Halloween theme designs on them and two handles. So this is what the inside looks like. It is a beautiful set. I absolutely love it. It was one of my favorite items in that unboxing. So what I decided to do in this case is because my projects have some dimension and are not flat, I decided that instead of pouring my hot wax directly onto that surface and then stamping, that I would um, do kind of like a stamp and lift method, is you, if you will. I am going to stamp onto a non-stick surface and once that's dry, I am going to peel it away or lift it and then just use some adhesive on the back to attach it to the particular project that I am working on. The best thing about this method is you can kind of make a bunch of them in one sitting and keep them in your stash until you need them. And when the need arises for, um, you know, one of these beautiful wax seals, you don't have to break out the candle and all the other elements. It's done. You just take it and glue it. I don't know if that's cheating, but that's what I do. It works for me. So, Speaking of the first project, the ATCs, I am going to be using these ATCs that I recently made. If you have not seen that video, I will link it here, so be sure to check it out. In that video, there were four people who took the time not only to watch the video, but also left a comment, and I truly do appreciate those four individuals, so much so that I have decided I am going to give these four ATCs away to those four individuals. So, Sun and Moon Arts, Rosa, Carrie Kay, Gina Loves to Craft, and Jackie, who is Lady J Crafty 2016, the four of you are going to be getting these ATCs. So again, that's Rosa, who is Sun and Moon Arts, Carrie Kay, Gina Loves to Craft, and Lady J Crafty 2016, who is Jackie. So ladies, if you will, please send me your addresses to happilyellaafter at gmail.com. Thank you ladies for taking the time not only to watch my video, but to leave a comment. I truly do appreciate you. Thank you. So I am going to package these up for those four ladies. So I guess before I show you how I'm going to package up these four ATCs, let me first give you a quick, a quick, <laughs> um, let's use the gold, a quick tutorial on how I make my stamp, my wax seals when I'm going to lift them off the surface. So I have my little spoon, I have my wax beads, I put anywhere from four to five. Um, I have my little heating element off to the side. So I'm just gonna move all this to the side. Now that this um, wax is nice and melted. So that's four or five beads. I'm just going to pour that onto, I have a mat 
here. This is a um, non-stick heat resistant mat. I'm going to pour my wax directly onto the mat. And just drop my seal on top of that. While that is setting, maybe what I will do is put some more beads to mount. Grab another seal. I'll do two. So I'm going to slowly just lift the seal popped off very easily quite nicely it's hard to see the image right now but we will go over that with some Gilder's paste wax to highlight the image I'm just using a spatula to lift the seal from my mat. And that is done. Doesn't bother me that it's not completely, you know, circular and perfect. The only perfection <laughs> I demand is in the image itself. Okay? And I know... It's hard to see that image right now, so let's go ahead and fix that. Let's use some of these Gilder's wax paste. So, I'm just gonna rub some on my finger and just rub across the image. Now you can see that image a lot better. You can see it's a tree, the pumpkin. And then the other one, which is actually my favorite one, is the witch. With the cauldron. So it really is just that easy. All you need is a non-stick, heat-resistant <laughs> mat of some kind and um, a nice level surface to stamp onto. And once your wax is dried, you can easily lift those seals. And you can make these in mass, store them, put them to the side, keep them in your stash. And that way they are available to you anytime you want to use a um, wax seal to kind of elevate your project without having to go through the process of getting all of the uh, materials out to actually make the seal. And again, I use a set that was sent to me by Craftspire. Be sure to check out that unboxing and all of the information for Craftspire, um, including a coupon code, will be in the info bar down below. The wax beads that I used are some by Alternu that I've had in my stash for a good long while. And let's see if this has a color doesn't have a color gold 
enchanted gold is that particular color <laughs> it's a good color i like it it's a very bright gold very bright 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 uh gold and the wax the gilders paste wax that i use um was just in the color black so now that i have my seals let's go ahead and embellish that first I'm project going to use for the packaging is some glassing envelopes. I am going to put each of the ATCs in a glassing envelope. This is like one of the cuter ways to package it and it's so super easy, super quick. So I have my stamp, my wax seals. I am going to use my fabric tack glue and just, let's see, I like this one a lot. I'm going to use this one. Mm, I like them all. Kind of hard to decide. <laughs> all right, let's use the red one. The best thing about this method is you have total control over the placement and you know for sure your image is going to be facing the right way. <laughs> so that's one of the many benefits of this method. I'm just going to press down on that and hold it for a little bit. I'm going to set that to the side and let that dry. Move on to the next one. I'm going to use this silver one. Doesn't that look great? I'm going to set that one off to the side to dry. I really like this little guy here too. He's perfectly imperfect. I just think it looks really cute. Makes me happy. That's all that counts, right? If it makes me happy, I'm going to do it. And then the final one. Ooh, choices, choices. Let's see. Let's go with... Ooh, let's go with this one. This is kind of cool. I like that one. So here are my four ATCs. Sealed. <laughs> and waiting to go to their new homes. I'm just going to put those off to the side, let them dry. Another project where I used the wax seals as an embellishment is in my journal. I recently made this 
boho journal with a Halloween twist. I have not shared this journal yet and I certainly have not done a, th a flip through of this journal. I will do that in a separate video. I will go into more details about the journal itself, including the kits in the journal. So just uh, <laughs> bear with me, that video is coming. Um, I did share some videos on the embellishments for this particular journal, like this Day of the Dead Tassel doll. And also these dangly charms. I shared videos for those and they were very detailed videos showing the process so be sure to check those out. But within these, within the signatures of this particular journal I have some, and I'll find them, some fabric flips. Here are the fabric flips. And these are made using some pieces of um, fabric from saris. So what I did was I took the wax seal itself and I added it to the flat, to the flip as an embellishment. Do you see that? I think it looks so pretty. And again, these I made on that mat, lifted it from the mat and glued them onto my little fabric flip using some fabric tack and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. And each of the signatures has each of the signatures has one. Here's another one. Beautiful. I love the way that looks. Let's find the third one. Isn't that beautiful? Love that. And I'm sure I will be using it throughout the journal in different spots but that's where I started so there you have it my friends two very simple ways that I used these wax seals to embellish my projects yeah, that's my share my friends thank you so much again be sure to check out to check out craftspire I will link all of the information down below Thank you, my friends, for watching. I truly do appreciate you, and I will catch you all in the next video. Until next time, bye-bye.